Good morning, YouTube family and friends. Today is day Bible challenge 57. We are on the move. We are on the move. And Tishan is here to join us again. He loves supporting his mom. And uh, above all, he loves doing the will of God. He's really making every effort to show it. Amen. Uh, please grab your Bibles so you can follow along with Tishon and grab your beverages and uh, whatever you're drinking this morning. I hope it's nice and tasty. And I'm looking forward to my ice water. Hmm. Very, very good. Follow along with Tishon and God will be with you too. Let's roll. And I also have my water. Awesome. All right. Seven. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh, and Aaron, thy brother, shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron, thy brother, shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he send the children of Israel out of his hand. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I stretch forth mine hand upon Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. And Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded them, so Amen. did they. And Moses was fourscore years old, and Aaron fourscore and three years old, when they spake unto Pharaoh. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, You shew a miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading of his wonderful words. In a summary of this chapter, <coughs> Moses is appointed to give the word of the Lord to Pharaoh. The Lord will multiply signs and wonders in Egypt. Aaron's rod becomes a serpent. The river is turned into blood. The magicians imitate the miracles of Moses and Aaron. Can you imagine that day what was going on? The magicians was imitating the miracles of Moses and Aaron. So to the magicians, <laughs> they thought Moses and Aaron was doing some type of of magic that they can compete with but they could you can't compete with God not the Almighty God never not not even not then not now not ever amen um, thank you all for tuning in today thank you all for following along thank you all for your likes and comments that's coming after this video is uploaded, I definitely look forward to your comments. I look forward to seeing the likes because it lets me know that you like this content. It lets me know that you want me to continue to bring the Word of God before you. It also lets me know that you're okay with this Bible challenge. And I encourage you all to share this video with your family and friends and even strangers. Thank you, and you all have a very, very blessed day. You want something to say to them before we leave? Um, stay encouraged, you know. Um, make sure in the morning you thank the Lord for waking you up, because, you know, that's, that is a, one of the number one blessings, you know, God could ever do. You know, just stay encouraged and know that God loves you. Amen. And I am back uh, at home, as you can see, and... Uh, my dad, we, you know, he's doing better. We have things under control as far as his care. Continue to keep him up in prayer, prayer warriors. 
uh, you know how it is, and you, once you get older, you know, he's 89 years old, and, uh, you know, we just want to remember our senior citizens, you know, remember our parents, remember how they took care of us when we were young, we couldn't take care of ourselves. Uh, you have senior citizen uh, parents, don't neglect them, don't neglect them. Uh, whatever you can do for them, do it. And then get the experts to help out with things that you really can't handle. But baby, you owe it to your parents to do whatever you can do. You only have one mama. As far as biological parents, you only have one father. Do the best you can do for them while they can still smell the flowers. Amen. God bless and take care and take God with you.